Are you tired of the old way of making friendship bracelets? Measuring, cutting, taping, and this whole mess of string? Well, I've got something really cool to show you. It's called My Friendship Bracelet Maker. There's a purple butterfly clip on top that holds your bracelet in place. There's 10 slots on the bottom to keep your strings organized, and if you slide up the top, there's 56 pre-cut strings in all your favorite colors. Plus, there's a little instruction packet so you can make all your favorite bracelets. First, we're going to start with the stripe pattern. Pick out your five favorite colors. I've already picked out mine. You want to make sure all of your colors are straight and aligned together. And then you want to fold it in half to make your first knot. At the top, you want to make your knot a half inch away. And then pull it nice and tight because that's where, how you're going to finish your bracelet. Take the knot and place it under the butterfly clip. Give it a little tug to make sure it's in. And then for your next step, we're going to start arranging the strings in the slots. Remember, however you arrange the strings now is going to be the order of your stripes. So first, I want two greens, maybe a tan, and just keep going until all of your strings are in these slots. There should be one string in each slot. We're going to start with the right-handed knot. Pick up the string in slot number one and also the string in slot number two. Slot number one, I have a green string, so that's going to be my first stripe all the way across. To make the right-handed knot, you make a number four, and then you pull it up through the middle, and then pull it tight towards the butterfly clip. Make another four, pull it through the middle, and put it tight towards the butterfly clip. Now your string that was in slot number two, you're going to place in slot number one and you're going to take your next string from slot number three. Remember, all this time you should have in your right hand the string from slot number one. Make your four, pull it tight, and do another one. And then you're going to place the string that was in number three in the number two slot. So you're just consistently picking up the next string, making a double right-handed knot, and placing it in the next slot over. And you're gonna keep doing this pattern of the double, hand, the double right handed knot until you make your way all the way across. And you'll notice at the top that your first whole line across should be made of green right handed double knots. And then we're almost at the end Now we have one string left on that line. And after you pick up the string from slot number 10 and make your double ha right handed knot, you're going to place that string in slot number 9, leaving you one slot left over, which your string that went all the way across in the line, you're just going to place in the number 10. Now we're going to complete the same pattern starting all over again. Pick up the string in the slot number 1, make your 4 by picking up the string in slot number 2, and then make your double right-handed knot. Move the string over to slot number one, and then move on to slot number three. Before you know it, your bracelet will get longer and longer, and your pattern will start to appear right before your eyes. Now that you've gotten to the end of your friendship bracelet and it's going to be long enough for you to wear, I'm going to show you how to finish it off. I like to finish with a simple braid. It makes it a lot easier. So I pick the first three strings up and the last three strings up and there's going to be four left over in the middle. So we're going to do a simple braid, which is going to make it a lot easier to make your knots.
and just braid it down as far as you want, preferably a little long. It makes the string a lot easier to work with. And then you're just going to do a simple knot, loop the string around, and pull it through the center. Push your knot up towards your friendship bracelet, pull it tight, and then do one more right on top of that. And pull it tight right over it. Unclip your friendship bracelet. And lastly, all you're going to have to do is cut off the end of your string, and that knot's going to fit perfectly in the loop that you made in the beginning. And then your friendship bracelet's ready for you, your friends, or your mom.